Hey, 30SX John here, and today what we're going to be doing is reloading 7mm REM mag, but we're going to be using a new powder. The powder we're going to be using is this new IMR 4955, and this powder's been out for a few years. I've been seeing it on the shelf every so often. I uh, thought I'd give it a try. A couple of years ago, Handloader Magazine had this special edition. It was the top 10 reloaded rifle cartridges. And of course, one of the cartridges listed was the 7mm REM mag. In it, they do use, as you can see here, the IMR 4955. And they have some load data here. But a couple things in the article stood out. And I'll quote from the article here. Let me zoom in a little bit. It says here at the very top, 4955 produced the best groups from the Browning rifle. If accuracy and velocity of all the bullets tested are added together, IRMR 4955 was the across the board winner for the test rifle. That always sort of stuck in my mind. So uh, recently I was, I was able to get a pound of this IMR 4955 and I thought I'd give it a try for the 7 rem mag. In this load data, he has two bullets, uh, 160 grain spear hot core and 162 Hornady interlock Botel soft point. Using IMR 4955, one good load was 63.5 grains. Another load was 64.0 grains of IMR 4955. So what we're going to try to do is duplicate these loads and see um, how accurate in velocity that uh, we get. For our bullets today, we're going to be using Sierra Game Kings. These are, of course, 7 millimeter, 284 caliber. These are 160 grain Spitzer Botels. For primers today, we're going to be using Winchester Large Rifle Magnum Rifle Primers. For brass, we are using Hornady Brass 7mm REM mag. Uh, I bought 100 pieces of it when I bought the Ruger 7 mag rifle. Um, I fired it once so far. So let's review the powder. This is, of course, the IMR 4955 powder. It's the Enduron technology, which means it is reduces copper fouling, is also insensitive to temperature changes. It is also, says here, manufactured in Canada, packaged in USA. So let's look at the powder real fast. Pour just a little bit out here. So it is an extruded powder. It's not overly big as some powder is. So it shouldn't be too hard to uh, use in a, in a powder thrower. But it's not a ball power, powder or, or a spherical powder. So here's a powder burn rate chart. Here's IMR 4955. And a little bit faster than it is Hodgin Super Performance. Also, the very popular Hodgin H4831 and H4831 shortcut. A little bit slower than it is Reliant Reloader 22. So this range where IMR 4955 sits is a very useful range. You could use this for a lot of calibers. So it makes that a, a pretty useful powder. Here is a IMR's website where they describe IMR 4955 powder and then right here they say this propellant performs comparably to Hodgdon H4831 but charge weights are materially different.
Hey, I'm back from the range. Had some pretty good results, so let's uh, review targets. My first load was 62 grains of IMR 4955 with a 160 grain Sierra. Uh, these were basically fouling shots just to see how this powder worked. My first three shots were made an inch and a half group. This includes a fouling shot. About two and a half inches high. I mean, the gun was already sighted in, but that's not bad just for the first three shots with the new powder. Uh, my next three shots, there was a half a grain more powder, 62.5 grains of powder. I made a nice three shot group of uh, seven eighths of an inch, center to center. That's pretty encouraging. I didn't need to chronograph um, any of this data because these were just my starting loads just to make sure that. I didn't see any problems using this pot or any overpressure signs or anything like that. So let's look at the other target. All right, here's my second target. Shot at 100 yards. Uh, I bumped up to a 63.5 grains of IMR 4955 with this 160 grain Sierra Game King bullet. Uh, four, four shot group made a nice group of one and one eighth inches. Uh, I did chronograph these loads. My average velocity was 2,960 feet per second. That's pretty respectable. It's not match accuracy, but uh, very good hunting accuracy, pretty good velocity. I went up another half a grain to 64 grains. Uh, my group opened up two and a half inches, four shot group. My average velocity was a little bit faster, 2,980. But it looks like that uh, for my rifle and with these Sierra Game King bullets, 63.5 grains of powder gives me good accuracy and pretty good velocity. I could probably tweak that, maybe a couple of tenths. Maybe I'll try that in the future, but right now that's a good load. That's respectable velocity right there for a 160 grain. Something I was thinking about was how good does this powder uh, keep copper from you know, being formed in the barrel? It's called copper reducing powder. So I was just wondering, so I, I cleaned the barrel of the, of the rifle I was using. So here's my rifle and um, here's all the patches I've cleaned the barrel. You can see they all have a lot of copper blue on it. That's uh, copper being pulled out of the barrel. Pretty blue. Seems to be coming out pretty easy though. I'm using this other bore cleaner. This is a Bortec Ink Eliminator Bore Cleaner. Seems to work pretty good. I like it because it doesn't smell like uh, copper at all. I'm sorry, it doesn't smell like ammonia at all. So it looks to me that the uh, IMR 4955 powder does uh, reduce copper fouling, but it's still there, but it seems to be easier to remove. Still think it's a very good powder to have, especially since a lot of people don't know how to use it. You can find it on a shelf easier than some other powders in that burn range. So anyhow, that's all I have for today. Uh, hey, thanks everyone for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Everyone stay safe. Have a nice day. And uh, thanks for watching.